What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys this fantastic piece of AI software called Adobe Podcast. Now what this is gonna do is take raw audio, enhance it, and even remove the background noise. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for this first example, I'm actually gonna take my live mic right here, attach it right underneath my collar here, and I'm gonna play around a Street Fighter vs. X-Men, so let's go. So what we're doing now is we're playing X-Men vs. Street Fighter so that we could do a test basically with background noise in which I'm using my arcade machine that I have like a custom speaker system in right now. So it's extremely loud. I have my lav mic hooked up right below my clevis there, I guess my neck area. So it's on my collar shirt there. And hopefully with Adobe Podcast, AKA Adobe AI, we're able to get some good clean audio even with all this crazy sound effects playing in the background. So now that I'm done with that match of Street Fighter vs. X-Men, let's take the raw audio that I recorded with my live mic and put it through Adobe Podcast. Now I'll leave a link in the description, but everything is browser based. So what we're gonna do from here is take this raw audio from my match there and put it into Adobe Podcast and let it enhance and remove the background noise. This is the website that we're gonna be using. So everything is web-based. I requested access, I haven't got into it yet, but we can access it through the website if we scroll further down in the web browser here. Towards the middle, this is AI powered audio. So we're just gonna click on try it out. And then this page is gonna come up. So on the left hand side, we can actually use an audio example here. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna drag and drop the Street Fighter clip into here and I'm gonna upload it up to the site. And we're gonna give us a few moments to upload and enhance the speech. So now that we have our clip uploaded to Adobe Podcast and it's enhanced with the background noise removed, let's run it back and run a test comparing the Lav Mic Raw to the Adobe Hands version. So right now I'm picking my characters. I'm gonna rock with Cyclops and I'm gonna rock with the Juggernaut. Of course, in all black, we're gonna do Turbo. First stage, we're doing Ryu versus Wolverine. Let's go. So what we're doing now is we're playing X-Men vs. Street Fighter so that we could do a test basically with background noise in which I'm using my arcade machine that I have like a custom speaker system in right now. So it's extremely loud. I have my lav mic hooked up right below my clevis there, I guess my neck area. So it's on my collar shirt there. And hopefully with Adobe Podcast, AKA Adobe AI, we're able to get some good clean audio even with all this crazy sound effects playing in the background. So we're gonna go through one round here. As you can see, Wolverine just got tagged in, body slam with Cyclops. Basically gonna uh, try to beat everybody with Cyclops, not pulling the Juggernaut unless I have to, but you know what, let's call it a Juggernaut. Okay, so let's pull him through. Boom, big body slam, big body coming through. Always undefeated X-Men versus Capcom. Can't can nobody beat me, X-Men versus Street Fighter. Challenge anybody out there. Boom, knock Wolverine out the stage. About to take Ryu for a ride here. There we go, can't beat the Juggernaut. Maybe I need to call back in Cyclops. There we go, tag team KO, can't beat it. So now we saw what it could do whenever we have like any type of background noise inside of our environment. But since I have a shore mic right here, a professional microphone, and I still have my live mic on right here, I wanted to run a test comparing what kind of results I would get when I compare a professional microphone to a live mic using the WAI. So I'm gonna use this test sample right here, run it through a WAI, and let's play it back in. Let's kind of compare and just see what kind of results we get. If we could get something using our live mic that's comparable to a professional mic, like the Shure mic here. So again, once you guys look down in the description, click on that link, try it out for yourself. It's free with your Adobe account and let me know what kind of results you get. But I'm extremely impressed because anytime I can't use my Shure mic and I had to use my live mic, I wasn't really impressed with my results, but I'm probably gonna be using Adobe Hands a lot more often. But again, for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon, take care.